Hi, this is Jewel with Jewel's Remedies, and I am making my fave body scrub. So I already have one cup of sugar here in my mixing bowl. And to that, this is one cup of cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. So any plant-based oil you use, for example, you can use avocado oil, even coconut oil, um, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, just know to look for cold press, expeller press, virgin plant-based oils. So to this, I know what, right away I wanna add at least half of this. So I'd say that's about a half a cup. From there, just keep stirring until you get the consistency that you like. So this is probably three-fourths a cup. I'm gonna keep blending it. And so what people kind of confuse is that oil is different from grease. Grease has all these additives to thicken the oil. So your oils are oily, but they are not greasy. And so the lighter weight oils are going to be like your jojoba and sweet almond. But if you like a little bit thicker or heavier, not thicker, heavier weight, go for the olive, grapeseed, and then the medium weight avocado. So from there, this is what I am looking for. So all of my sugar molecules are now absorbing the oil. So, but what I'm going to do is just add a touch more. So now it's probably, probably close to three-fourths cups of olive oil to a cup of sugar. Now, because I like a little bit more of exfoliation in my scrubs, I like to feel it. Um, I'll just add, I would say that's a good tablespoon of salt to the mix. And so this is kosher salt, or you can use the sea salt. And for me, because of the salt, not just for me, but the salt molecules um, have a little bit more jagged surface area. So it's gonna give you a little bit more exfoliation. We'll go and add a little bit more. Yes. So I'm looking to see if there's any dry, white, sugar or salt molecules, but they all seem to be pretty full. And so what I wanna see is that on the top of it, there's kind of a layer of oil. So I know that this isn't gonna dry out too quickly. And from there, during the colder weather months, seasonal affect, I love sunshine, I need the extra antidepressant mood lifting benefit of lavender. And so again, when you're purchasing oils, look for essential oil on it, on the label, and then also look for the botanical name. If not, you're getting a lavender fragrant oil. So chemically, they can use the same um, ingredients or same ingredients that have the same chemical structure of things in lavender, but it's not a lavender essential oil. So for this, this is eight ounces. So I could put, you know, about 80 drops of lavender oil in this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put about 30 drops. But the rule of thumb for your body products is usually five to 10 drops for sensitive skin, no more than 10 drops for sensitive skin. But for normal, apparently healthy adults, you can do 10 drops per ounce. But for me, I find that 20 to 30 drops is fine. So I mentioned using lavender for the cold, darker months. <laughs> I definitely get seasonal affect disorder. I love my sunlight. In the summer months, I love to use 
lemongrass because it's bright and invigorating and I love the citrus smell but you can add any essential oil of your choice um, if a special holiday that's coming up like Valentine's Day consider lavender jasmine essential oils but always use your sugar scrub on clean skin so after you shower use a little take a handful of the scrub massage it into your skin and rinse and use the benefit of that oil that's sealing in the moisture as your starting point for your moisturizing regimen I also like to use this for shaving after waxing to prevent ingrown hairs and kind of removing exfoliating those skin surfaces so there's so many uses for sugar scrub I'll put some in the description below but feel free to like comment and subscribe have a great day